Welcome to a very special edition of Look at Her, Painted for Filth, yeah. presented by our friends at Queerty and Dragaholic. Today, we're going to be running down our top five picks from Dragaholic's monthly Painted for Filth list, which shows their top 20 painted looks from all the queens in all the world. <laughs> and to share our favorite picks, of course, I need to have some bitches who know about painting and looking good. Of course, to my right, it's the beautiful and talented Lady Red Couture. Yeah. Yeah. She's painted for Phil herself. Wow, you know I do a good job with Yes, it. you do. <laughs> Next to her is the most mysterious and weirdest of them all, the avant-garde beauty that is Erica Toavion. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Erica, you are painted for filth. I mean, the details. Please get a shot of Erica's look. Oh, look at it. Sick. Oh, it's just oh, so many things Ooh. about it. Uh, <laughs> and to my left, to my left, uh, it is the superstar of the moment, the true winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season seven. Doesn't like when I say that, but we know it's true. It's Katya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, little hand lady. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, of course. Just to clarify, I'm a, I'm not a bitch. I'm a woman. You are. You are a beautiful woman of the most beautiful type. And silent but deadly next to Katya is Mr. Tyler Morgan. Yay! Yay! Not here to speak. No. Just here for beauty. <laughs> but I will say he is painted for filth. It's a man beat, but it's a beat. All right. <laughs> yes, there it is. Uh, you can find the Painted for Filth countdown on Dragaholic on Queerty.com every month, and we're just picking our favorites from the list of 20. So, from Let's Start Counting Down, our first look comes from Ruby D. Let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, she's I giving kind of a mysterioso yeah. Mr. Lady Man type of look. Uh -huh. uh, Lady Red, thoughts? I love it. She's painted like a young Disney villain. Oh, yeah. It's so sickening. And then the, with the little red light, it accentuates the red lip to make it pop just enough to be subtle enough to distract you from that beautiful eye. Mm -hmm. I love all of that. Uh, very nice, Lady <laughs> Red. Uh, Katya, your thoughts on this kind of bearded look? You know, I'm, I'm usually pretty critical of these kinds of looks, but this is incredible because it looks like the love child of um, Josephine Baker, Betty Boop, and the Devil. Yes, you're <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah nice. it's fab. I like I it. I love it. Erica, you love an avant-garde beat. I sure do. I was thinking Betty Boop too. It's funny you said well, that. Well, yeah, wow. because she's, because she's got the the thin twenties pencil mm -hmm. brow and the hair and sort the of the droopy wave, yeah. the droopy um, yes, effect, droopy nice. eye effect. It's very boop boop boop. boop. Yeah. Um, and you know, I like a I like an avant-garde neck painting. Yeah. As Hello. much as the next girl. <laughs> yes. Well, she does. This, this person obviously has good like references. They know what they're like. They know about stuff. Yeah. She knows how to handle a brush. Yes. Yeah, for shit, sure. Yeah. Well, shout out to you, Ruby D, a yeah. Chicago queen. Our other favorite this month, or our next favorite, I should say, belongs to someone that was on season seven with Katya. It is Pearl. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah! Look at this look! Oh, yeah. Two headed Pearl. Oh. Now, Pearl is most recently a new Wilhelmina yeah. model. Yeah. Yes. Just by like Wilhelmina models. That yeah. is beat. Uh, now, you know Pearl very well. I what do. do you think of this beat? Well, I love, I mean, I'm always a fan of Pearl's beat. And this, I believe this is by uh, Bikala. Um, the designer oh. of the outfit, who's yeah. like kind of uh, Pearl's his muse. Okay. Oh, it's yeah. good to be someone's muse. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, it? I think she gets like a 20% off discount. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, she always looks, I mean, the thing about Pearl is she never, I mean, does she ever look bad? No. No. Um, yeah, this is so good. I love the white doll face, the mm -hmm. porcelain. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, she's it's almost she a makes me angry. type of look. It I know, is. she's so beautiful. Yeah. She is, she transforms completely, you know? That's the thing about her. Ugh. It's <laughs> so oh. good. It's so well good. Well said. Well said. Erica? I love her with sort of a rounder 
look. This is kind of a rounder eye than she uh -huh. usually does. It's like a rounder lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Softer, higher cheekbones. Mm -hmm. I oh, think yeah. it's fab. It looks yeah. like she's wearing a mask. It's great. Yeah. Oh, it does look like she's wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah, I, the only thing I wish there was like a little bit of like skin, like there was white on the So it actually looks like so a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Max. It's, it's Max. It's Max. Uh -huh. Max. Lady Red, you love a mask. <laughs> I do love a mask. You I, love a mask for mask. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love the whole artistry of it. I really like the fact that it doesn't register as just like a woman or a man. It registers as a character. You know what I mean? Because you have to look twice. You don't get to look at this and just be like, oh, that's a drag queen. You have to go, wait a minute, what is that? And oh, that's another head. And oh, wait a minute, that's a dress. I like to put it all together. It's like a, a puzzle book for me. Mm -hmm. I love to put it all together and just celebrate in the painted filth of it all. Yes, it is. Definitely <laughs> painted for filth. Very Bravo, well Pearl. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, a model. Oh, now she's going to start getting all that male model Double training. duty, baby. Oh, God. Oh. Pearl's gonna have so much dick, she's not gonna know what to do. <laughs> what do you think, Horn of the Unicorn? Pearl, you're all gonna get a lot of dick, Johnny. <laughs> I know. Oh, well done, yes! Pearl. Yes! <laughs> all right, let's look at another haw. This is Helvetica from Brooklyn. Let's take a look at her look. Oh, oh another bitch. Bearded oh. <laughs> Miss March Simpson has nothing on. Helvetica from Brooklyn, darling. Oh, yeah, put bad. that look up there again. Let's oh take a look, a closer look Let's at that. It, honey. I mean, uh, it she's giving you in. a Simpsons tee with yeah, a bodycon dress, oh, a beard to keep it Brooklyn, yes. and like Marge Simpson letting her hair down, going wild. Oh. Uh, Erica, I know you have something to say. You're a Brooklyn queen yourself. I mean, yeah, I've been known to to cross the bridge and pump a Brooklyn look <laughs> yes. once in a while. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, as she as she says that with a, a pound and a half of tool on her head. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I mean, I love a bearded queen. Number one, and mm. the nod to Marge Simpson. And can we? I mean, can we talk about her name, please? Uh, Helvetica oh, name. is oh. fucking fantastic. Yes, it's like. A a, the Brooklyn Queens are really bringing it back to, with the, like, the clever, funny drag names. They're locking it down. Helvetica, I mean work. Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> Not your thoughts? I, I think it's like, it's always good when a drag queen like incorporates or like they, they do a look that intersects a lot of different fetishes, you know? Mm. Or like um, sexual flavors. Because I used to masturbate to cartoons. Yes. And then I love bearded, like just bearded men in general. And so it's like two birds, one stone. It is. And the body is so right. Yes, it for is. For a lot of these, um, for a lot of like the alt queens, sometimes the, the attention to detail in the body is not like really a priority. Uh, but this body is incredible. It is on point. Somebody who knows a lot about bodies, boop, Lady Red. <laughs> <laughs> I think she turned it. She uh -huh. turned it. Because, you know, I'm not in favor of bearded queens. I think, uh -huh. it's, I think it's kind of trivial until you do it like that. Mm. When you turn it all the way around on its head and celebrate who you are as well as the character, I got to give it up to you. Got to give it up. I like it, it. Well done, Helvetica. Yes. And let's check in with Tyler Morgan. His body still looks good. Yay! Good job! Yay! Yay! All right. Yay! Now we're down to our uh, <laughs> last two favorites. Uh, this one hails from the New York premiere of Drag Race, and we're talking about the New York queen of the moment, Bob the Drag Queen. Look at her! Oh, <laughs> yes! yes. There, I mean, Bob has been giving a lot of different looks, but this is definitely a classic Bob hair to the one side, yes. sci-fi kind of makeup look. Yes. yes. Erica, you know Bob. I do. I know her from New York. She's amazing. I mean, hands down, one of the best performers I've ever seen. Yeah. For yeah. sure. So good. And I love a space. I mean, anything from space. Sure. It's cool with me. <laughs> Anything from space is cool with me. I love that headpiece, though. I mean, I almost would love to. I mean, I would totally wear that. Yeah. In a, like in a heart. What is this look? That she's what doing? is going on with her boobs, though? Yeah. Well, you guys. <laughs> it's the double boob. But I don't get why they look like they're painted by a. Because they're painted for filth, girl. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. Get it? That's it. Yeah. They are painted for filth. She it's is the title. intergalactically taking us over slowly. That is what I need from a drag queen. Yeah. I need that boldness, <laughs> but I also need the creativity. Uh -huh. When you do things too perfect, we don't get it. But the fact that you I took attention to that, that detail, yeah. like mm. you took attention to that hand, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I, I don't even do drag. I just kind of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you just uh, put I a just, little yeah, moisturizer on in the person. morning. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, she's awesome, and I think she's really versatile, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, she can do whatever, because yes. the, the, the strength of her ability as, a, like, a, a live performer with a really compelling voice is that she can sell anything, yes. you know? She's so cool. I'm such a big fan of hers. I but you gotta be badass to take a car apart and make an outfit out of it. She's yeah. so sick <laughs> there. That's a, yeah, that, that is, is sick That is a Toyota Camry. I could not do that. <laughs> that is sick yeah. thing. Yeah. And she can really do a great glamour beat with a big Thank lashes. you. Ain't that beautiful? Her I mean, number really lashes just are those lady yes, friends. Please go in on her lashes. Look, look at, uh, if you pay attention, her whole, when you paint, and you paint correctly, and you put them lashes on that lash, when you open your eye, it should make all of your color disappear. Yeah. I love that. Very well done. <laughs> I love that. And let's look at our last look. It's the number one look on the Dragaholic Painted for Filth list, uh -huh. and that is, look at all, uh -oh. kimchi. Oh. Yes. They featured yes. all six of her looks, yes. I think, from all the Drag Race premieres, yeah, really. Yeah, the pork bun top left. The pork bun top left. Yes. That was an amazing. Big look. Really my favorite yeah, was a uh, fried egg. Let's I take mean, a look at that. She went yeah. In. Fried egg is much better. There it is. Beautiful. Yes, beautifully oh, done. Uh -huh. Now, uh, now the kimchi makeup, that is really takes a lot of skill. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all are skilled paintresses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What how long do you think that kind of beat takes to get right? That kind of an eye? Yeah. I could spend I would spend where I to do that, it'd probably take me at least 45 just for the eyes. Ooh. Right. At least 45, maybe an hour. Just getting the eyeliner just so, and like taking your time and filling in with the white and getting it, not mixing. Because if you make, because black on top of white, if it's not right, you get gray. That's right. right. So you gotta like, That's you gotta really, science. you gotta really get in. <laughs> yeah. And take your time. I could spend, you know, 45 an hour on something like that probably. Mm -hmm. Lady Red, your thoughts on the kimchi beat? I think it's sickening. I wouldn't take that much time because I do it often. But <laughs> I, think, I think it is beat. I think that when she goes for the concept, she goes all the way for the concept. She changes whole, the whole shape of her face. Like one time you'll see her face be real flat, and then you'll see all this dimension. Sometimes she doesn't even look Korean. I love it. <laughs> well, all yeah. right. Uh, Katya? I had no idea she was Korean. <laughs> <laughs> you know the pork bun and the Chinese food well, songs. And it's I mean, so I, sickly. Confused I, you. Yeah. So <laughs> sickly. So I love sickly. A, I love a theme, and I certainly love animals. Um, she, I think her beat is like, um, you know, uh, people like her are living artworks. Do you know what I mean? They're yeah. kind of like that French artist Orlando, although she did like plastic surgery, it's a little extreme, but Love you know Orlando. what I mean? So her, I would judge, I would also like put her in a kind of like a class by herself in a way. Cause it's like almost, she gets on stage and like her job is done in a way. It's like, <gasps> you just like behold, yes. do you know what I mean? Um, she's amazing. But I think though, I bet she could turn out like a beat like that in under an hour. Yeah. Because mm. you know. Yeah. I should probably take six hours because I know that she cries a lot, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much, beautiful ladies. You are all painted for filth. Tyler Morgan, you're painted for filth with your man beat. Mm -hmm. yes, and you of are. course, thank you to Queerty and Dragaholic for providing us with this list mm. of all of the painted for filth queens. If you want to check out the full list, make sure to go to queerty.com and look under Dragaholic for painted for filth. And we'll see you next time on Look at Her, Painted for Film. Yeah! yeah.